guys, Charlani here. Thanks so much for tuning in. Spring is just about here and I am so ready for it. Today we are de-junking, we're doing some light cleaning, refreshing a few areas around the house, and getting ready to dive into all the deep cleans and organization coming up in these next few weeks. If you aren't subscribed yet, I'd love it if you did. And join me in getting ready for all the spring cleaning, the garden and yard prep, and basically getting ready for the warmer weather. Today is a GSD, a get shit done day. <laughs> Today is a day that we are gonna walk around this house and we're gonna pull some things out that we want to donate, that we wanna throw away, like get some real trash out. We have once every quarter, I believe it is, uh, we have what's called chunkier junk here in our city, which means it's like open dumps. <laughs> and you can take, they have little sections, which is super cool, very convenient. It's totally free. You just have to be a resident of our city. And I'm just gonna start getting things together. One of the biggest things for me is that they do on-site shredding. So I can take, I have one more like load of medical billing paperwork that I can get rid of now and it's been a year since I've held on to it, so now it's time that we can get those uh, that paperwork shredded. So I have a couple of different filing cabinets. I've got one right here, and I'm just going to double check in here really quick. Okay, yeah, so see, we still have paperwork in here that I need to go ahead and get rid of. Perfect. So these, a lot of this is gonna have to go and then I think we're gonna get rid, I have two of these here, let me show you the other one. Hi bud, today's gonna be a busy in and out of the house morning, okay? <laughs> we're donating this stuff right here, so I gotta make sure we take that. And this filing cabinet here, this is just all of my house decor type things. We're gonna get some of this stuff out too. Like I said, today is just really going to be a GSD and figure out what it is we wanna keep in this house. We're trying to de-junk. Spring cleaning is happening sooner rather than later. Empty, empty, empty. Okay, <gasps> yes, empty, perfect. We're actually gonna get rid of this one. We're gonna donate that. And I'm thinking I'm gonna keep the other one, but we're gonna donate that. This is also a really good time to get rid of, come on buddy, to clear up a lot of this stuff too. Like just big boxes that we didn't wanna put in the trash can. Um, just things that need to be dealt with and donated or um, taken to the dump. So that is definitely something that we are going to tackle and get rid of today. Lots of things. Well, I know this totally looks like crap, but it's actually really good for obviously spray painting on. <laughs> so yeah, next project or project coming up really, really soon is refreshing this garage completely. We actually have somebody coming to repair this wall. If you can see, we have lots of holes. So my son played hockey for many, many years. And on those colder days, we actually just set up his hockey net right here. And we just let him have at it. We knew that we would have to replace that someday, which is now. <laughs> All right, let's get in. Get that paperwork boxed up. Oh, this is shredding stuff too. So in fact, I can just take this box with me. About a year ago, I closed the doors to my medical billing company. I knew in my heart that I needed to do something that really sparked joy. And as proud as I was of the company that I'd built literally from my kitchen table almost 20 years ago, it was time to make a change. So that's what I did. And this paperwork is the last remaining evidence of this company that I built. But honestly, this final purge feels really, really good. And I want to empower you to switch things up if you feel that tug on your heart to move in a different direction. Change can be scary, sure, but if you have the courage to pivot, do it. And then put your head down and get to work. It's a little bit overpacked. 
However, I didn't want to use up a whole nother box for it. We'll keep this one right here and that should be good enough. All right, let's keep going. This is how long I did medical billing, that we did things on this kind of paper. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So now I gotta get some paperwork type things situated because there is a way that we're gonna need to pack our car. You see how they show you a map of everything. So we need to pack our car accordingly, but it tells you exactly how to get in, where you'll stop first. Usually it's always the shredding is first. So you stop there. You would go back around if you have cardboards and styrofoam medication type things. And then, or you can cut through and you can go in, there's yard waste, metal, trash, trash. And then here is recycling things here. And then you've got home electronics. So pretty cool, right? Like it's so, uh, just makes it so convenient. I love that our city does this for us. Donations will go in first then trash stuff, then yard stuff, styrofoam, cardboard, shredding. You ready? Yeah. You ready? Allergies to... are kicking in hard today. Yeah, well, dust has been thrown around. Looking pretty good, Daddy. Thank you. <laughs> I just, he just walked in and said, oh, hello, sporty daddy. <laughs> <laughs> There's a step there, honey, if you're going to keep that in. I love you. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it did not just happen. <laughs> did you forget about the step? I did. did. Yeah. We are home now. It is shaky o'clock. I use unsweetened coconut oat milk. Muala brand is my absolute fave. I add in some frozen cauliflower. I promise you cannot even taste it. And veggies are good for you, in case you didn't know that. I also add in a scoop of power greens. They're like extra credit. And then I do a double dose of collagen because hair, skin, nails, and I'm gonna fight father time every single step of the way. I also add in some brain support with astragalus, astragalus I think is how you pronounce it. Helps with thinking and memory. And of course I do a scoop of my chocolate, superfoods and veggies because it is absolutely the best on the market. Super healthy for you and super, super yummy. This guy and I just came back from our walk. Did we have a good walk? <laughs> yes, we really did. This is where we're at. We ended up keeping these two chairs. I think I'm gonna try and do a little DIY-in to these. I have an idea for what I wanna do with that. We'll see. If they come out awful, we'll either toss them or donate them, we'll figure it out, but I love that this space right here is nice and just, well, it's not clean, <laughs> but it is empty. Love that.
I always feel like once my kitchen counters are clean, I feel really good and we are nice and organized and put away. Okay. I went ahead and I started a list, just kind of things that I wanted to remember. Now listen, I don't know that we're gonna be able to get all of this done today. I'm just gonna kinda go for it and see how much we get done. I've got some Amazon stuff coming. I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to do things with what comes in, so I'll show that to you when I get it. But some of this also is like that deliver by 10 p.m., so <laughs> maybe way too late to get to any of this stuff, but I've already made the bed, dishes situated, um, oh, meat out. I went ahead and pulled out, where is it? We've got pork chops. This is what we're gonna have for dinner. So we're thawing out three pork chops. And then, let's see, bring out all the decor. So everything that was in that extra room, I wanna bring out and put onto our main table over here um, and then just kind of pull from it. Valentine's Day stuff, which is right there on the table. This has been here for too long. <laughs> it's definitely past Valentine's Day. I was supposed to do that a couple days ago. I just never got around to it. We're gonna tackle that today for sure. So that is something that's on this list. I need to also finish that tray that I just showed you. Uh, get that kind of squared away. The dining room table trays, I'll show you that here in just a minute. Tiered trays, and well here, let's just do this because I don't want to forget. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull out all of this decor right here. And I'm going to bring it out and put it onto this table right here. And I'm going to pull from that table. I'm also hoping that I'll have time to refresh this bathroom. So I, after I took down the Christmas stuff, I had just kind of left it clear. A lot of the stuff that is in these bins right here are the styling items that go in here. So I'm hoping that we're gonna have time to do this today, get that zhuzhed up. And then the other spot is this right here. So same thing, a lot of what were in those bins go here too. So let's go ahead and, oh, let's see. What else do we have on our list? All right, so that was the dining trays, tears in the guest bath, straighten the mantle stem. Oh, that's right. So this is what the mantle has come out like. Love, 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 love. But you can see these stems. I have some chicken wire we're gonna put in here and it'll hold those stems upright. Easy fix. If you saw in my last vlog, we got Roxy. We need to get her mapped out. We need to hang Sammy, our vacuum, in the gym. Um, I would like to clear off my desk in the office, uh, the laundry room table, which you guys saw is a total disaster. Laundry room stuff. <laughs> I have a bunch of things that we have just pulled down and not put back in our laundry room. I'm debating on taking the table into the garage. I'm kind of hoping we're gonna have time to do that, but we'll see. Like I said, I am not sure that we're gonna be able to do all of these things today. This is kind of like just my wish list of things to get done, but holy geez. If we were able to get all of this done today, what a successful day that would be. Oh, that would be so productive. And I do have, I would like to get our shower cleaned, but again, we'll have to see. This is a lofty list. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start tackling it. such a little amount of Valentine's Day stuff that I brought out this year and it was in where all of our Easter stuff was 
but I'll show you guys upstairs in the space that I have for all of my seasonal decor. I'll show you that I have a perfect spot for this. Right there, perfect. I just went ahead and put that Easter bin back there. It'll be ready for me when I am ready to decorate for Easter. Oh, I did get this at Hobby Lobby yesterday, 66% off, I'll take it. Okay, so I'm kind of loving that, but it's way too big, like it's way too tall. So I'm thinking of cutting the stems and then having them be more like, just like a foot or two. Yeah, I think that'll look really good.
So the toilet paper basket is going to go right here. Gonna love the way that looks. And the shelf toilet paper holder is going to go right here. So excited, we are loving this space. Absolutely love, and I think this is gonna be awesome right here. Once I get our wall paint color match, I'll come back in and make sure that I touch up these areas. But I love this toilet roll holder, so convenient. And we love how our small bathroom refresh. If you didn't see that video, I'll link it below for you. So next up, I cleaned our shower and then I have these bathroom shelves. They come in a two pack. They stick on with like this sticky strip. So I bought two two packs. I used three here and I put one in our guest bath. They are super strong and very sturdy. It has definitely been a productive day. I actually feel absolutely amazing because look at how many things we have crossed off and checked off this list. Bed has been made, kitchen was cleaned and wiped down, we prepped for dinner, we brought out our decor stuff, we put away the Valentine's Day things, we had the nook trays, dining room table, tears in the guest bathroom, we straightened up the mantle stems in that vessel, and then the things we did not do, we did not map up Roxy, we'll do that tomorrow, and then we didn't hang Sammy in the gym, we actually decided to leave her in the laundry room downstairs where we use her the most. So once we get our Dyson back, then we'll go ahead and move her and put her upstairs. So for now, Sammy is still downstairs. Roxy is still sitting on the floor waiting to get mapped out, which we'll do tomorrow. I did clean the shower so I can go ahead and check that off. And then these are errands that we can definitely do on another day. I am not gonna lie, you guys, I am absolutely beat. But today was so productive. It is definitely going to make this next week so much easier. We have so many spaces that have been styled up. Finally, it has taken, oh my gosh, a month and a half to get it all situated, but that's okay. It is situated now and it feels really, really good. Rob heated up chili from a few days ago, so this is what we are going to eat for dinner. He is making, what is that, like a sloppy it's joe, a, a chili joe? chili cheese burger. <laughs> Basically cheese on a bun with chili poured on top. Nice. I am just going to have some chili and call it a night. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed, I would love it if you did. Bye guys.